presentation is coming up. As you heard, my name is Steve Tobela, the CEO of Printing SA. Program Director, thank you. Even though you say I deliberately wanted to do the gr uh, grand entrance, actually, I was right there at the back supporting my colleagues instead. <laughs> it wasn't for a grand entrance. <laughs> I'm here today because I know that often I'm asked a lot of questions about the printing industry. And because half of the time I'm not able to answer the questions, I brought, I brought the whole entourage from Printing SA. I'm with my colleague, the marketing manager, Abisha Katarere, uh, Kanyusi Lentanzi, the technical and commercial manager, technical female uh, from Printing SA. A lady right there at the back. And if you have any technical questions, you ask her. I also have my colleague who's the chamber manager, also a lady. Lana Human, and of course, if you want my business card, because I sometimes forget them in the office, I need somebody to assist me, my PA is here, Maria Salveiro. Before I get into the presentation itself, I need to just say this. Often when we talk about higher, the institutions of higher learning, we put universities as the ultimate, and then we talk about TVET colleges as a second option. It's like if you didn't make it to universities, then consider TVET colleges. I want us to change that perception. It's a wrong perception. It is important that we talk about TVET colleges as, as important as the universities are. I'll tell you what, you may look at the qualifications that I have today and you might assume that I, I, I went to university. Let me disappoint you now. I've never set foot at university. And I have the qualifications. Now you say, how did he do it? Did he get some, uh, did he pay to get the qualification? No. I started at a TVET college. I did printing. I did apprenticeship. I did national certificate one, two, and three. And qualified as a printer. And the company I was working for recommended me for management. I did my degree through correspondence. I did my diploma through correspondence. And I did my master's through correspondence. It is possible. <laughs> so you can start right there. You know, often we talk about university as if it's the ultimate. Yes, we want as many of you to go to university, but I want to make sure that I advise you this morning that it is important that you look at TVET colleges as equally important. I don't know if I have a pointer here. Do I have one? No. Well, having had made that point, to the board of FPNM CETA, I see the CEO is not here, but I'm sure she's represented here by Mr. P.K. Naika. Thank you very much, board members that are here today, representatives from various stakeholders. Thank you very much for gracing us with your presence here. This is the second year that I'm speaking at this summit. So if you want my talk at the, thank you very much. If you want my talk at the previous summit, you can find it on YouTube. It's still there. I checked this morning. So today I'm going to angle the talk slightly different than what I did last year. I'm going to talk briefly about who we are as Printing SA because that gives you the context of the careers in the printing, packaging, and signage industry. Now, I didn't say industries, I said industry because we look at these three as one major or big industry. Printing, imagine the world without print. Very often we hear print and we think of the little printer on your desk and you think that is printing. I don't think you can print newspapers with that little printer on your desk. I don't think either you can print magazines with that printer on your desk. Neither can you print a road sign. You, without print, you couldn't have been at this summit because you had to follow road signs to get here. That little phone you have in your hands... Did you know that without the printing industry, you can't have the phone? Because the chip inside the phone is printed. The phone letters themselves come from the printing industry. The computer that you have or internet exists because of the printing industry. Everything that you see on internet, half of it, it 
more than half, 70% is because of the printing industry. So I come from an industry that very little is known about, and for those who do know a little about that industry, they look down upon it because they think these guys didn't go to university, they're wearing overalls and have lots of inks on their hands and they are in overalls half of the time. But what you don't know, the salaries in that industry, through research, are much higher than many other industries. In fact, we are among the top 10 in the country. And yet very little is known about this industry. So I'll talk a little bit about printing essay to give context. I'll talk about careers in the industry. And then I want to mention two sites and a professional body that is within the printing industry. Who we are. This is our vision. We, are, we represent the interests of the printing packaging industry, ensuring that the industry is sustainable, that all stakeholders, in particular our members, prosper. Now, when we talk about prospering, you would heard from the social entrepreneur who spoke before me, it is not always about money. It is, all, it is also about our environment. It is also about taking care of those that cannot take care of themselves. That is, if you are prospering in a true sense, is being able to do that. And that's what Printing SA does. We are very much involved in programs that are helping either young people or even those people that did not get opportunities to go to higher institutions of learning, we are having programs to try and assist those. I will elaborate a little bit on that further later on. Our mission, because if you look at the Federation and what we do, and today I I'm going to talk a little bit more about the last part of the mission, but we do what we call industry network. We call it CONFER. We CONFER. If you want to know who set up the curriculum of the printing industry, it's Printing SA. We involve with the CETA. We advise the CETA as to exactly what are the requirements of the printing industry, how is the curriculum developed. We organize all subsectors within the printing industry and communicate our needs to all the stakeholders and mainly the uh, FPNM CETA, of which I'm a board member myself. We consult for the services of the industry. We campaign. That's sometimes when legislation is passed. It's not necessarily always in favor of the industry. If you take, it, um, if you take uh, legislations like Waste Management Act, Air Quality Act, those were shaped mainly by the printing and packaging industry. Initially, when they were conceived, the intention was good. But if they were implemented as they were, they would have destroyed the industry completely. And therefore, it is important that we keep campaigning and make creating awareness. My presence here today speaks to that. But the important part of this mission is training. We run the private, the only, the only private technical college in the printing industry. And it's owned by members of the Federation. It's a very important role player in the economy of South Africa because it's the only one. Where have you had anybody saying, I'm going to university to obtain a degree in printing or packaging? You don't hear that. But we do offer that, and we are not a university but a TVET. So I want to advise you that please do consider a career as a young person in the printing industry. I'll mention some of the... Uh, uh, trades in the printing industry that you could possibly consider. This is our values. I'm not going to dwell on those. They are mainly important for um, our members, and I was recently talking to them. Now, if you go to any printing company, please make sure that when you enter the reception, you can at least see those two certificates. One, it says that this is a member of the printing industry, so that if you printed with them and your job did not go accordingly, you can then come to us and we can mediate. But if that company that you're printing with doesn't have any of those certificates, we cannot help you if you have a problem with them. So I thought I'll share that quickly with you. That's one of the important roles of the Printing Federation. This is our organizational structure. Basically, it consists of chambers. 
Is the pointer working? Yes, it is, but I think it's distances too. Right at the top here, those are the four chambers. So we are nationally based, and we are mainly, as you can see right at the top, is members, mainly driven by what members want in the industry. And those members are 741 companies. That includes government printing works, SA Bank Note. You, you mention any other you mention any other organizations that are in the printing industry as well, they are part of this federation. This is the profile of the printing industry. The industry consists of about 1,200 members, 700 of those are suppliers in the industry. We employ about 45,000 people within the industry, so there's a career there. And there are about 60,000 indirect employment within the industry. The turnover is 60 billion rand. That means we contribute 6%, sorry, that means we contribute 3% to the economy of South Africa. These are some of the processes or careers. Sorry, I know you wanted to cheer on that. Thank, sorry for that. I'm rushing because the MC is in signaling to me she wants the break now. These are some of the processes within the printing industry, and I know you may not be able to see them, but if you go on the website, you will see exactly these are some of the careers, um, uh, the process of printing on which you can build your career on. Careers in the printing industry, these, last year I concentrated on the technical te uh, careers in the industry, and I spoke about the 30 different trades. I signal what is gravure, what is litho, what is flexography. These are all the printing processes that are there. But very little is known about, and especially at high school levels, you don't hear them being spoken about. So I thought today I will elaborate more, a little bit more, more than just the trades, there are other careers. There are people who manage processes. There are production managers. There are mechanics who fix those machines. There are electricians that are specialized in printing. So we require a whole lot of different skills in the printing industry over and above just the trades within the printing industry. I will not elaborate on any of these. I've mentioned them all there. Two sides. Two sides tells the story of the other side of the story of the printing industry. Your email often says, don't print this email, don't destroy the forest. Now I want to tell you this morning, the industry does not destroy any forest. The industry plants the trees that we harvest and produce papers from those trees that we planted. So we need people that are going to grow those trees. It's a career that you can build on. SAIP is a professional body within the printing industry. Like any chartered accountant, like any doctor, you get a designation. So if you get my business card, you will see on that business card, it say SAIP PDT, which means I'm a technical director within the industry. Any one of you can in future be one of those, carry one of those designations. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you.